Hi friends, Peter Uzelak, the Embryo MD here. Today I wanna to talk to you about what is endometriosis. And I wanna start off with just a definition. It's very important that we use a proper definition and always come back to that as we go into talking about symptoms and how we make the diagnosis and how we treat it and complications. Because if we don't get that definition right and kind of keep that inside of our head, we can kind of veer off track as we get into some of these other things. So we're gonna build upon a nice solid foundation. Now, I think a good definition of endometriosis is the following. Any endometriotic-like tissue that's found in any place in the body other than the inside of the uterus. So let's go over that again. Endometriotic-like tissue found in places other than the inside of the uterus. And the reason I call it endometriotic-like tissue is that there's some debate whether this is actually endometrial tissue, endometrium, or not. And we're not gonna get into that further here. We'll talk about that down the line. But that is the best definition of what is endometriosis. Now let's talk about what I mean by any other location in the body besides the inside of the uterus. So normally in a menstrual cycle, in an ovulatory woman, estrogen rises throughout the first half of the menstrual cycle, ovulation occurs, and then progesterone rises. Once progesterone eventually falls, if there's no pregnancy, the menstruation ensues. And what menstruation is, is the shedding of the inner layer of the uterus, also known as the endometrium or endometrial lining. So when we have that tissue that's found outside that location, that's endometriosis. Now, where could that be? Common locations outside would be the actual outside of the uterus, so as opposed to the inside, the outside of the uterus, the fallopian tube, the ovaries, and anywhere in that kind of general vicinity, there's a cavity that we call the pelvic cavity or abdominal pelvic cavity that's lined by a thin piece of tissue called a peritoneum and the endometriosis can be found anywhere along the peritoneum and it can also be found in other organs in that cavity. So close organs would be the bladder or the bowel and more distant organs would be the liver, the kidney. In fact, many of us are surprised when we first learn about how distal endometriosis can be found away from the uterus. It's been found in the lungs, it's been found in the nasal cavity, it's been found in the central nervous system, termed neuroendometriosis. So that's why there's some debate about whether this is actual endometrial tissue coming from the uterus itself, or maybe perhaps a tissue that underwent some changes to become like endometriotic tissue. Once again, proper definitions, always keep this in mind when we're talking about endometriosis, endometriotic-like tissue located anywhere other than inside the uterus.